God, guys, thank God. What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Uh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! Don't move. Holy shit! What the fuck? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. <laughs> um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. Uh -huh. ah! oh. Holy shit, Mike! Oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? I'm gonna get the key from Josh. I'll, uh... I'll come back here. Back to the sanatorium. Sanitarium, I always mispronounce that. Can I just not? No. That, would have, that, that, that lock has major ramifications for this game's story. Do I not have a weapon at all on me right now? I had one last time, didn't I? I, I must find one when I'm going through here before I encounter one of them. Where's Wolfie? Oh, this place is such a nightmare. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that Mike can die in here. Basically with every quick time event, just like just like how Chris was totally at risk of getting slaughtered every time someone jumps at him, I think that one of them can kill him here. Yep, Mike. Huh. It's time for us to find that weapon. I have it on the walls. Right. We have to go up top and drop down, right? But yeah, you'll remember that uh, Mike doesn't matter a whole lot after this point in the game. Because at this point, uh, you 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 remember our our our, go, our holy angel Sam who holds the entire story together <laughs> happens to be there just in time when uh, Mike finds Josh and so Sa Sam can just as easily get the key from Josh and and uh, complete the story so Mike could die in here and we could just never see him again. I might do a video on that at some point. I have a lot of plans for doing videos after this playthrough of like various things I didn't do in either of my seasons. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. As like bonus episodes, it's just the sheer time commitment's hard, so it'll, they'll probably be way less frequent. <laughs> because of the butterfly effect, you have to go through like three chapters to make some of these effects happen. So a five minute video might take 90 minutes to record. <laughs> Yeah, he just grabs like four shells. Ah, good enough. He's got a Herschel Infinity Ammo shotgun. That's what it is. For those that don't know the reference, in the in the television show Walking Dead, there's an old farmer named Herschel. Shows up in season two. He's got he uses a weapon. His shotgun's his weapon. And throughout season two, there's multiple scenes where he just shoots like ten times. It's like he doesn't even seem to have bullets on him. Where where are all these shots coming from? Does not appear to be how shotguns work. Same thing happens here. I think I grabbed like four shots. And I shoot a lot in this chapter, especially if you get grabbed. I'm, I'm genuinely curious if you do eventually run out of ammo. Like if you get grabbed too many times in that sanatorium, I mean in that jail area, do you eventually just have to shoot somebody? That'd be... Like if you run out of bullets eventually, that'd be really interesting. Right. <clears throat> shot, shot number one. The gunshot that notifies everyone I'm here. I might have gotten away with more otherwise. Whoa! Shit! Oh. Easy boy. Uh, 
I don't think we're gonna get along so great. Let's just leave him be. Now this was one of the places I was pretty happy with my exploration of. I think I found virtually everything. I definitely found like a bunch of projector rooms and the the warden. Looks like if you uh, shot, if you kick the dog and don't give it a bone to make it feel better, because dogs love being fed. <laughs> Step one to making them your friend. If you don't do that, then he won't follow you around. It seems to just be a little moment to acknowledge your past uh, actions, though. I don't think it has much of an impact on the story itself. It's kind of like one of those Walking Dead moments, by which I mean the Telltale game, not the television show. Where they kind of just like to acknowledge something you did in the past, even if it doesn't have any more ramifications beyond being acknowledged. What's down here? Oh, dead wolf. Oh, son of a bitch. Pretty brutal, man. Probably want to get out of here. I will say that I... Uh, I can buy the fact that they're not getting killed by Wendigos constantly a little bit more once the finale establishes the fact that they're constantly fighting each other, too. That makes it easier to believe the fact that, uh, we're not constantly fighting them all. This is probably the last, like, most tense part of the game for me. Just because I know that so many encounters are going to happen here. What the fuck? Mike. Can we get out of here, please? I don't want to be here anymore. I don't like it. Also, apparently my torch doesn't cast a shadow. I can only see my hand. Oh, well. A lot of games have that issue. It's a rat. A Wendigo can't fit behind an ammo box or whatever that is. Rat. Oh shit! Fuck! <laughs> it's nice of him to wait for me. All right, concentrate mode. I think. We learned last time to go left, because going right is pointless. Time to get moving, Mike. No, don't go. What are you doing? <laughs> See, he, he only uses hilts. It's weird. He's got a big. He's got a big ol' machete.
you son of a bitch. Where are you? Prison already? Yeah, we are. No, Mike. Please, for the love of God, just stand in the middle of the hallway and walk forward. Stay away from the bar. Time, boys. It's enough for me for all you. No. You need so much more self-preservation, dude. You can get through here shooting a surprisingly low number of shots. I, think I fired two shots so far, I think. He's in the cage. It's a, it's a lot of miners. Go, go, go. Yeah. Pick that shit. Good thing he planned ahead because there's two of those guys. Somehow it feels like those tiny locks just won't cut it in the situation. <laughs> Alright, Mike, let's see if I can get you to not die. Since keeping you alive is one of my goals here. After all, I want to have your post credit scene where you're really freaked out about shooting Emily. How fucked up is it going to be if we get to the post credits? I mean, not well, during credit scenes where they're talking to the police and Mike doesn't even mention shooting Emily. I guess maybe he wouldn't want to mention her that if he doesn't want to get caught. Although everyone else is going to mention it. You think someone's, it's a traumatic enough moment, someone's got to freak out about it. Hey, spookies. Man, fuck this place. This place is the worst. Here, Mike. I'm not done with you yet. Oh, hey! This is how I got in this playthrough. This weird underground area.
Oh, Mikey, you let them free. No mat for you to assault with a shovel this time, unfortunately. Oh, what if she finds Matt's corpse? Come on, guys, hurry up! We gotta find Mike. Come on. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of giving out here, guys. Uh, I think maybe you should go on without me. We're sticking together. Mike will just have to wait. Yes, let's just abandon Chris. Sounds like a good plan. Let's, let's split up. It worked out great for us last time, didn't it? What even happens if you leave him behind? Are we... Have we gone in, in the manhole yet? Oh yeah, that's up here. I was like, why does it look like we're already there? Right, so don't go left is what we learned here. Whoever's whoever does the manhole, don't split up or you get your uh, head ripped off. And that's not good. I wonder if you can take that path and just not open the door. <gasps> oh. Oh, shit! Mike must have locked it behind him. Crap! There's got to be another way in. I've got a clue. Wait. Hey. What about this? <sighs> I mean, should, should we try it? Well, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. <sighs> okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. So who's going first? It's not so bad. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is. Where else would it go? Chris, I know you're hurt, but you gotta move it, all right? I'm trying, Ash. Oh no, have I made a mistake by taking him with me? Are we gonna get chased by something? Emily got chased by something, we just didn't get to see what. Hey, um, hey, we should close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it, but we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? Yeah. Man, every step of this chapter is just another way of, of splitting these people up, isn't it? Nothing over here. Freaking Chris couldn't walk a second ago. How the hell did he get off camera so fast? <laughs> There's something towards camera here. Nope, can't go that way. Alright, so for the love of God, don't go left this time. Did, wow! How could, how could Chris cover this much ground? I thought he could barely walk. He is gone. He hauled ass. Who's there? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? So two things could be happening here. 
Uh, Catherine's are weird, so Jessica's voice could be bouncing around and misleading us, or she could even actually be in that direction, and the and the door that ha that's a Wendigo is a coincidence, or as someone has suggested, Wendigos might be able to recreate the voices of people. But fuck that noise. Hello. Let's keep the couple I'm trying to keep alive together. They, they had to, oh they had to drop down. Oh, gosh. How are we gonna if we get chased by something? How are we gonna get Chris out of here? I may have made a mistake by bringing him down here. It might be that we get chased by something and then he can't escape it because his legs all messed up. Oh my god, I am so glad to see you. Glad you're safe. Wait, where are they coming from? Where did where did I go? How'd they go? Here? What? What pa Look. what path did they take? Look there. Wow, great. <sighs> the ladder's toast. We're never gonna make it up there. No, no, no. I think I can. I think I can do it. It's like a rock wall. I'm gonna keep going. You should head back to the lodge. I've gotta get Mike. Good luck. See you in the finale. We're out of the story now. <laughs> oh, come to think of it, Emily was right. Emily was probably running from the Wendigo that Ashley let out when she died. There's the wheel. We'll have to remember that. The water wheel has something near it that'll keep Josh alive. We need to make Josh realize that Hannah is a Wendigo. Otherwise, she'll just... Otherwise, Josh thinks that he's, she's a uh, hallucin... What happened last time is Josh thought that, that Hannah was a... The Wendigo was a hallucination, so he didn't try to escape it. Because he's like, you're not real! You're not real! It's real. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. My convenient rock climbing ability makes it possible for me to completely escape all of the dangerous parts of this game. She is literally this this narrative's spine that makes the entire game keep going. It's, it's interesting. They do these climbing segments to try to instill some risk, but I think last time we pretty much established that if you mess up, if you mess these up, you just kind of start over, and it's not a big deal. Owie! Come on, girl, you could do it. An important strategy to realize about the quick time events is you start realizing they tend to go square, triangle, circle, triangle, square, triangle, circle, like... They kind of just go back and forth across the controller in order. And that, knowing that trick has definitely helped. Because it's it's usually, in many cases, it's, simple, it's simplified the quick time events to being a simple case of basically pressing X in at the right timing over and over again. Did I go towards the camera here? Oh, I don't remember where I went last time. Nope, there's nothing over there. I want to pick up anything I missed last time, but it's hard to remember. Drop down. Yeah, let's see what happens if I don't have the pipe. It can't be that easy to kill Mike, can it? Yep, there goes the sanatorium. I'm just realizing Sam doesn't really even encounter a Wendigo. She he encounters this one with she encounters this one with Mike and then never sees one again until the finale of the entire game. <laughs> That's how they keep her alive. Getting them creepy noises, Sam. Getting them creepy noises. Did I go the wrong way? I can't see very well. Is there a place to go around here? Oh, there we go. <laughs> It got, it got so foggy, I couldn't tell where to go next. So this is the path I didn't take last time. Wow. There's the dead Wendigo spirit. Did they successfully jump scare you? <laughs> go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you get a melee weapon no matter what. Okay. Come on, girl, you could do it. So either way, you're going to club its head off. I don't feel safe not attacking it. Knocking its head off is bad, as we've established, but not knocking its head off... Yes, that's the place I would drop down. I would just have a slightly different melee weapon. Alright, well, that, that kind of removed that choice a bit. But yeah, I'm definitely going to attack it, because if I don't, I'm a little afraid it might kill Mike. 
And I really don't want to restart a chapter <laughs> to try to fix that. Oh, the audio fucked up again. That just happens every time, I guess. How weird that that happens every time.